Could I ask about Ireland in the wider European context? Because it occurs to me it wasn't just in Ireland that there was a growth in cultural and political nationalism in the uh, 1910s and following the Great War. And it wasn't just in Ireland that there was an increase in political violence. So how much is Ireland unique in what happened? And how much is it was part of a, of a general shaping partly influenced by the violence of the Great War itself? Michael? There's, there's a fascinating book written by a historian called Robert Vohl, W-O-H-L, The Generation of 1914, in which he looks at a range of writers and politicians in a range of countries across Europe uh, and examines their attitude towards peace and war, violence in general, uh, and the feeling that was commonplace in the Third Republic, in Wilhelm in Germany, in, in, in Edwardian Britain, a feeling of boredom, of staleness, uh, feeling that uh, excitement had vanished, that enthusiasm, idealism had vanished, and that what was needed was uh, dynamism, uh, dramatic change, which could be brought about only by violence, which helped uh, enthuse so many people in so many countries uh, when war was imminent and then when war was declared. Now, the extent to which there was great support for the war has been somewhat exaggerated, but it was there, there's no doubt about it. There's a very, very famous photograph that many of you have probably seen, uh, taken in, I think, at the Residenzplatz in Munich, of a very large crowd, the whole big square filled with people in, waving their hats, cheering wildly, and in the middle, clearly recognizable, Adolf Hitler, his face alight with joy. Uh, uh, his, even then he had the, 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 the trademark moustache, the Charlie Chaplin moustache. Uh, and uh, he was just one of millions of people who felt excited by the prospect of violence. Uh, that at last there could be a return to heroism, idealism, and so on. The nature of the war, of course, killed that for most people. Um, although Pierce was a surprisingly late believer in uh, the, 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 the idea, when he wrote uh, shortly before the Rising, that in the last 18 months, 16 months, heroism has come back to the, to, to the world. Uh, the earth needed to be warmed with the red wine of the battlefields and so on. Uh, an attitude totally at odds with the horrible way in which the war was being fought, the deeply unheroic, uh, undramatic uh, murder machine, to use Pierce's term in a quite different context, uh, the murder machine uh, of, of trench warfare. Uh, but until um, the, the, the war ground to a halt in the trenches, there was uh, that feeling of which many people in Ireland were just a part, and I agree fully with you, that there was an international mood uh, that, that welcomed the prospect of, of conflict, of violence, of heroism, and uh, bringing an end to all the stale, dreary, boring compromises, uh, the, 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 the complacency, the materialism, and so on, that people felt characterized um, uh, the world before 1914, a world that very soon came to be seen as a golden age, a glorious extended summer in contrast to the horrors that followed when people's hopes were realized. 